Hi, welcome to Python programming. Here I am going to talk about the command line uh, interfaces. So we are going to talk about in detail what is the command line interface, what is the use of it, so how the uh, we can use the same concept in the Python. Right? So the command line uh, interfaces are like a programming that accepts the text input to execute the operating system functionality. As you know that in the 1960s using only computer terminals this is the way only they can interact with the computers in the 1970s and 1980s the command line inputs was the commonly used by the unix systems and as well as the the pc systems like uh, ms dos apple dos the different uh, disk operating system commands we use in the to write the code so today with graphical user interface most users never use the command line interfaces However, command line interfaces are still used by the software developers and system administrators to configure the computers, install the softwares and access the features that are not available in the graphical interfaces. Now you can see on my screen, I listed the few of the uh, commands, the DIR print which are related to the Windows system, the ls list and make directory which is related to the like we can say that uh, Linux operating system and there are all most popular uh, the command line interfaces like npm which is we can use it for the javascript uh, uh, community to download the many javascript uh, related libraries and the pp is also most popular one to download or install the uh, any kind of python packages so the pp is also one kind of example we can say that uh, it's one type of the command line interfaces okay now so is there any way we can create these interfaces okay the question is that uh, how we can create our own command line interfaces is it possible so if it is possible what are the uh, types of packages systems we have it so if you can see here there is the arc pass which is the very default uh, command line interface for the python and which is little complicated but we can use it another one is the click which is very easy compared to the arc pass and dog pot is also there which is a very light uh, version and the email cli so if you uh, it we can be used for the command line interfaces when you are configured in the emails so but now i'm going to talk about something different apart from all this so there is there is a name called fire fire is one of the python package which we can use it for uh, to create the command line interfaces so before going to start this, uh, I'm going to show you that uh, some documentation part. So you can see here, uh, this is a, a developer by the, the community and uh, we can get installed free from the pip command. So we can use the pip install fire. It can be installed uh, in our computer. At the same time, we can also use the uh, source code to be installed in our local by using the setup.py. Okay, so let's get into that. So we, I'm going to create very simple code, which is there here some sample code. We can use it how we can do it. Okay, so before that here, I'm going to create a new file, the new file called the fire and uh, fire demo. I'm giving that py, the file which I created now fire demo .py. This is the call module name. Now I'm going to use here uh, this source code, this entire thing. But before that, make sure that uh, uh, we have the uh, terminal okay so in the sense like we have the software or not so I'm downloading the software here pip3 install then fire so when you try to install it it is already installed in my local so it's saying that it is already satisfied and if it is uh, whenever first time first time installing install, you're installing that it can be done from your in your local itself okay now to access this uh, we are going to use the import and uh, file okay so import file and now I'll get the all uh, file libraries into my source code where I'm going to use now you can see there is a little code they are giving that is the function so we can use the command now okay so basically if you look at this source code there is a function the function is actually uh, having some written statement so which will give some uh, string data in output data 
and also we are actually calling this when there is a main method called and we are invoking this fire right this fire is a constructor on this little module we can use this one right now so what we're gonna do right so this is the function I'm going to call from here okay so now hello act as the uh, command it's a command for uh, uh, we can use it for the to return any string to to say some string here the logic is that when I use this command it will give the output is hello whatever the name which I entered okay so to execute this because we are not going to execute this one directly into uh, in the studio here because this one should execute from the commands only because it is a command basically right okay so now i'm going to use this code the you can see that so similarly i'm going to write here that uh, python 3 and uh, the file name is the fire demo and uh, we can use this dot py and we can give the the function name the function is nothing but here is a command and the function is expecting at least one argument so here one argument we need to pass that is nothing but a string okay so i'm going i'm entering here is raja okay so when i enter the raja i'm getting the output is hello raja that means here in the written statement i given the hello so if i give the hi i'm going to execute the same thing i'll get the hi raja okay okay that should be fine now i'm going to enter the different string like for example like uh, say that uh, Sachin and uh, enter yes I will get the same name that should be fine so now my command is the hello so if I say my if I using my command called hello with passing any string that will produce this result okay it's a very simple command which we created and how to check this this command is there in my local right so we can use dash dash and also dash dash help so when you say that dash dash and dash dash help will get the uh, the command information because this is a new command which you created by using this python and especially with the file so this this we can use uh, uh, any purpose when you are returning the string okay so this can be uh, used further and not only this one okay not only this one we can also use the uh, <coughs> passing the name okay here i am going to pass the name so here we can pass the argument also so but you can pass the argument always should be the the function name so i am passing here function name so let's see this when i am going to enter this so not going here i am saying that python 3 fight demo dot py hello now i am going to pass the raja again i'll get an error obviously because i am already i am passing passing the function as an argument so now what i am going to do right hello now i'm going to remove this hello because function is already passed in the file so i'm going to use the string directly so i'll get the output is raja it's very simple one so the command is already there but you just pass one string that should be enough okay so now we can see some more code which they are giving here which is uh, which is very easy to understand and uh, for example if i want to write two commands you can look at this example there is add and multiply Let's, let me take this example and we can see that how it works it's a very simple example now I have here two commands the command one is the add and command two is the multiply right so now I'm going to execute this one you can look at here now the same python 3 file demo dot py and now my command is the r then I can pass the two arguments so arguments you have to pass by using the space right enter and you will get some error like so this command is uh, when you are going to run this command so what is missing here so when i'm trying to run this python 3 5 demo.py add and 4 5 but this information which is not actually getting through it if you look at this uh, here so python example.py add 10 20 but the, we are, whenever we are giving the same code python 3 5 demo uh, add 4 5 is giving an error so that means you might be giving the some spaces extra or like you are not giving the right values okay you are not giving the right information to that code okay so what we can do now so this is the which I have not saved it so that's why I am getting this error now let me run it again now I will get the output previous issue is because of I am not saved the file now I am going to run it again so instead of add I am going to queue here I'll multiply then we'll see this output is multiply again 4 5 
so we will see I will get the output is right like that we can use the two commands two commands information we can see okay now for example I have here file demo dot py add so it can give the here dash dash again dash dash so this is the help and enter so this is information about the add so add anyway will tell that there are two positional arguments we have to mandatory pass these arguments okay so it talks basically you can check the command which is there or not and all like so that is how these command prompts command uh, lines we can create it not only that one so as of now we have seen these examples only with the functions we can also do with the classes you can see here one example the class and any class you can take that has the constructor one two instance methods and uh, when you are firing this uh, like a command you should always use the class name so the class name anyway is passed but the usage is same the add and multiply is same but we need to actually get here whenever you're passing add and 10 and 10 and 20 you'll get some issues okay so to fix that issues we can use the offset command offset 0 offset uh, is equal to 0 this can be solved directly so because we, do, we should not call directly uh, like how we call the functions the ordinary way we should not call this we have to use the offset command then we can fix this issue so like that we can group the commands there is so much of information available in this document and there is another document on this so you can use these commands to create the command line uh, arguments especially command line functionality you can use it different commands you can create it okay so i think it is going to be helpful to you in your projects so and you are doing the develop deployments and creating the software packages and all so i feel i hope this is going to be useful to you and uh, you can write your comment on the chat box uh, thanks for watching the video yes thank you